This cold snap is causing problems for many around our state, and that includes school systems. KX News' Mary Gutenkoff talked with a family who was impacted by the bad weather. For William Holweg, the winter has brought a fear for the safety of his three kids. This was exacerbated when the bus bringing them home was late for an unknown reason. My kids came off the bus just screaming and crying with their cheeks all red. And I asked them what was going on, like something happened on the bus. And they told me no, that they were just stuck outside in the freezing cold and that the school wouldn't let them back in to even warm up. Lakewood Elementary's principal, Pat Beckman, says the kids were outside longer than usual, but they were playing out on the playground. But the Holweg children say they weren't having fun. We were actually kind of scared because we thought we were going to freeze and get frostbite. Beckman says the children, ages 5, 6, and 9, were being supervised by two teachers, and they were following the school's cold weather policy. But William Holweg says he doesn't know why the kids couldn't be let inside. There's no reason why things like this should even happen, especially when there's a school that's empty. Why the, why the heck can the kids uh, stay inside? until the bus showed up, even if you don't know if it's running late. You know what I mean? It would have only taken you about five minutes to run the kids outside. Holweg says, luckily, his children were wearing warmer clothes due to the weather. No, there was a lot of kids there that didn't have snow pants or snow gear. And these guys luckily did because I forced them right away in the morning to grab all their stuff and get ready. Harlow's school bus operations manager, Roy Bailey, says this cold snap is even more of a reason to make sure your kids are bundled up and prepared for the weather. Even though they're going to be getting on the bus and spending most of their time in the heated bus riding to school, uh, they have to wait at the bus stop before the bus picks them up. They'll have to walk home from the bus stop after the bus drops them off at the end of the day. Bailey says there could also be issues that could hinder picking up or dropping off a child. A bus is a mechanical piece of equipment. If something breaks down, uh, we have to get a replacement bus out to get the kids off the bus. If it's something right here in town, we might be able to do that within 10 minutes. You get some of these more rural routes, it might take us 20, even 30 minutes to get a replacement bus out. Reporting for KX News, I'm Mary Gutenkoff. A spokesperson for the Department of Public Instruction says if you're worried about your children's safety with the negative temps, you can always opt into picking them up yourself. However, Holwig says that the only way that this works as is if parents are physically able to do so, and he is not.